Hey everybody, Kevin from XB3 here, and we got a little bit something different for you today. We're going to do a little bit of a video review. Now, let's say you're like me, and you have a pretty decent collection of retro systems, right? But you are not a fan of, like, that composite output. You know, the RCA, yellow for the video, red and white for the audio. Yeah, it's kind of the way you're supposed to play it, but it's not the best video signal. Like, yeah, it's better than that little coax RF box, like say what the NES came with, that's a garbage signal. And you know, composites all right, but it's only a step above that. But you also don't have something like say, SCART cables from the UK, or you don't have your system modded to output RGB, HDMI, all those fancy signals that cost you an arm and a leg, running through a frame meister box that's like 500 bucks. Let's say you don't want to do any of that. But you also still want a nice clean video signal. Um, a while ago, we were playing Metal Slug on the Neo Geo, and a user by the name of Silverwings21, thanks again for the recommendation, bud, recommended these cables by a company called HD Retrovision. Now, what this company does is they make cables that are just plug and play with your systems, and it catches the video signal that's sent out by your console and translates it back into a component signal. So you get a nice little uh, as about as close to an RGB signal as you can possibly get. So we're going to be checking these out today. I got pretty much the whole gamut of what was available from uh, HD Retrovision. They did a restock recently. So we got an SNES cable, as you can see right there. Got a nice little plug and play adapter. Just plugs right into your SNES. And then I also got a Genesis cable. Now you'll notice on both cables, they got a little switch right here that has an auto contrast switch. So say like your revision of your system has a little bit of a less of a image quality output, you can change that to make the picture correct in what it's supposed to be. So it's kind of cool with the uh, Genesis cable. Uh, there's a bunch of different adapters that you can get that makes this cable compatible with a fair amount of uh, different systems. So along with the Genesis cable, I got a PlayStation adapter. As you can see, plugs right on into the PlayStation's multi-out output. We got a Genesis cable that supports the Genesis Model 1, as the Genesis cable only supports the Model 2 by default, so this makes it the correct video adapter. We got a Sega Saturn adapter. So you can plug this into your Sega Saturn. And finally, and most importantly, what made me get this in the first place, you got a Neo Geo adapter. And this is compatible with uh, your Neo Geo AES as well as your CD systems. So this is a really good adapter to have along with your Genesis cable. Some good stuff. So it's pretty straightforward. They're just component cables that plug into your system. But the most important question is, do they work? So let's take a break here. We'll hook some stuff up and we will take some samples and see just how big of a difference these cables make. Be right back.
right, so that was awesome. Um, final verdict on these things, they're incredible. Uh, the picture quality is just a night and day difference, um, especially on systems like the Sega Genesis, Sega Saturn, Neo Geo, and even the PlayStation. I had no idea that composite video could affect video quality that poorly. So if you want something that's like a really good jump in video quality, I highly recommend these cables. Now, even though I absolutely am in love with these things, there's just a few little nitpicks I have here and there. Um, mainly like the Super Nintendo cable. In person, the quality difference is really noticeable, but it doesn't really show up so much in pictures. So it's not as drastic a difference as, say, like the Sega Genesis cable and all the adapters that go on it. Um, additionally, the adapter fittings are pretty tight when you plug them in. Not to mention, like, plugging the PlayStation adapter into the PlayStation itself. It's a pretty tight fit, so it can be a little worrying when you're messing with it. Um, I guess another small issue, although it's not as bad as going other routes like hard modding your consoles, the price of the cables can be a little up there. They're $54 for each cable. Um, the bigger adapters, like the PlayStation and the Neo Geo and Gen 1 Genesis, are $14 each, and the Saturn adapter is $8. So it can get a little expensive, I guess, considering they're just cables, but for the quality that you get and how well that they work, I think it's pretty well worth the price. Um, probably one other issue, especially if you're into looking to record what you're capturing with these cables, you need to make sure that your box is capable of receiving a 240p signal because our Elgato that we use, like I mentioned before, it's not capable of capturing 240p. So I kind of had to go... Uh, I guess a ghetto route of getting some screen pics taken. So just make sure that your box is capable of capturing what these ca cables are capable of. Aside from that though, these things are amazing. I had no idea that the picture quality would be this good and that it could bring out so much detail in the image. So if you're looking for something that you just want some cables, you don't want to send off your console and hack it apart, spend hundreds of dollars getting it modded, go with these things. They're absolutely incredible. Well, I guess I'm back to playing some more games. We'll talk to you guys next time on XB3. See ya.